Hi. so Melissa here and Andrew here and, and we wanted to make this video because we have been kind of in a slump lately we haven't been feeling our most vibrant self we haven't been acting with like from a place of love and compassion with each other and with anything that we've been doing at least it's been feeling that way I don't know I'm kind of speaking for both of us yeah I mean things have just been uh, perceived as difficult, challenging, frustrating, all of those negative emotions that you have when you're feeling like things aren't going well and nothing that you do is right and you're so far behind and all of these different feelings that you have. Yeah, feeling overwhelmed. Yeah. Allowing just, yourself to be stressed by certain things that life has to offer, right? Yeah. Like, so we're making this video in an attempt to give you our top five ideas, strategies to get you out of those uh, situations if you find yourself feeling negative and spiraling downwards. Yes, because you can get stuck there for a long time. Like I've been stuck there pretty much since high school. For a long time I was very like in a negative, low self-compassion, things I struggle with and they come back, you know, but I have more tools, which we're gonna share some of them with you today to deal with that, to bounce back faster. Cause obviously you have your down days and no one's gonna be like, woo, super positive, like totally happy all the time. Like it doesn't happen for a lot of people and that's okay. And also to have compassion for yourself when you have those days, um, acknowledge those days and acknowledge that you might need time by yourself to do some of these steps or these five tips that we are gonna share with you. So for tip number one, I find that when you wake up, this is the first tip, tip number one, uh, it's gratitude. When you wake up in the morning and you say gratitude, I find that it really helps me to get out of the funk that I'm in. So they could be like as simple as like, I'm grateful that I woke up this morning. I'm grateful that I have legs that I can walk. I'm grateful that um, I'm grateful that I can breathe. I'm grateful that I can see. I'm grateful that I can hear. Things like that. Like they're very. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm grateful for having thousands of dollars in my bank account. Because sometimes that's not the truth. And I know you can say affirmations to attract it into your life. But just grateful for the things that you have right now. And some of the things I also say is like, oh, I'm grateful that Andrew's in my life. I'm grateful that we have a shelter to keep us warm and to provide shelter against the cold or the wind or things like that. So just very simple, simple, simple things, just things like that that can change. Saying things like that can change the way you think and the way your mind gets stuck in that negativity and, oh, nothing's going right, I can't do this. So just saying a few gratitude will definitely help. I find it to help at least. So. Okay, number two that we find very helpful is what we like to call affirmations. Um, but you could, you could call them whatever you want. It's basically they're positive statements that you recite out loud even if they feel like they're currently alive for you. So one that you could say is I trust in the process of life. Right? And it might not sound true because maybe you don't feel like you're trusting in the processes that you have no control over right now, right? But um, by saying it, by declaring it, right? you could also call them declarations, by, by declaring these statements, you are, you are um, not only saying them, but you're also thinking them in your head, which mentally, subconsciously alters um, your mind. Like you will notice your mood change after you say like uh, maybe 10, if you recite 10 affirmations, um, see how you feel after reciting them or maybe recite them a few different times. Um, let's see, besides I trust in the process of life, a lot of you people could have yeah, money. Go ahead. A lot of people have money issues, and one of the affirmations that we say is, "I'm a money magnet." 
that's a night that's a good one or um, money comes to me in expected and unexpected ways or um, I don't know there's so many yeah there's a whole, bunch. <laughs> a whole bunch and what we can do um, we both have been following um, this uh, entrepreneur um, his name is Dan Locke and I'm currently enrolled in in his courses and he actually offers not only a morning gratitude for free on his YouTube channel, but he also offers these declarations that we're talking about. Okay, our third suggestion is to get outside and get moving, get into the fresh air and possible sunshine of that day. Um, you see right now, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're getting outside for half hour, hour for our day today to feel the air and just kind of get um, into nature as much as possible and feel that good energy. And so if you can, try to get outside, do an exercise, move your, move, get moving, or, or just even walk, take a walk for half hour, hour, and um, you'll automatically feel way better, um, or at least a little bit better than <laughs> where you're feeling. And if you can't even do half hour, you can even do just 10 minutes, like whatever, anything, whatever, whatever you can do. Just get yourself outside yep. if you can. Okay, and the fourth idea, tip, is a lot of us can relate to this. There are oftentimes a lot of things going around in our head that are things that you could put on a, like a task list, right? Say, oh, I need to do this. I need to take out the recycling, the trash. I need to like sweep the floor, all these things, right? So here's our tip. Either do, just take action on say a few small things, right? Right now, that's the key, right now. As you're thinking of them, do them. Because you'll realize that once you do that, then they're out of your mind. And that's one last thing in your mind. And so the idea is to get these things out of your mind. So by doing and take action now, you can accomplish that. And so that's, that was one, another one of our tips. And the last and final tip that we have, tip number five, is speak to yourself with compassion. Have compassion for yourself, because when you have compassion for yourself, then you have compassion for others. So I could be upset and just saying kind of nasty things to Andrew, that's very easy to do, but that's also not showing compassion for myself because obviously I'm not being compassionate to myself I'm a, if I'm talking to someone else not in a compassionate way, right? Mm. So, when you have compassion for yourself, so for example, if you're in a slump and you're like, oh, I'm so unmotivated, I can't do anything, what's wrong with me? That's some negative self-talk that people have. Instead, you could be like, okay, you know, I'm in this slump right now, I'll let myself do this for the next 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna get up and take action, and wash the dishes, or put on my shoes, or you know anything like that to help get yourself moving and to help move your body and do the things that you want to do so that's our thoughts i think yeah you know so are you in a slump right now or you know next time you get in a slump um I, we hope that these steps that we've laid out for you uh, will help and um, please let us know in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, please comment below. And if you like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up. Or if you don't, thumbs down. Any comments or any feedback is really welcome on our channel because we'd like to know what your thoughts are on our videos. If you want to get updates or notifications, subscribe to our channel below. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.